Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial, we're going to learn an AI tool that can give you access to all of these AI tools completely free of charge. So this AI tool is none other than not Diamond AI. Okay, so to access it, you can come anywhere within your browser. You can just go ahead and type in Google. And then you'll be brought in over here. So you can just search for not Diamond AI just like so and you will see it over here the first option so you just click alternatively you can go to notdiamond.ai and you brought in over here you can just come all the way directly to login because it's very easy to log in and start having access to it so as usual you can log in with your email and password if you have registered before if you've not you can go ahead and log in with your gmail account or with github if you have any account for this tutorial let me log in with one of my gmail accounts and i will see you at the other side so this is the platform this is what you see when you log into the platform not diamond automatically calls the best model for any prompt this is not a usual ai model this one is a combination of different types of models and depending on the type of question that you have it is going to call in the best model to answer your question so and it's going to indicate at the end that this is the model that it has been using to answer the question so the platform looks something simple similar to that of chat gpt and you can ask it to surprise me or you can come over here and type in your message and you can upload an attachment from here you can see you can have the opportunity to upload an attachment from your system and over here you can see the history of what you have been searching on on this particular platform and then here you can see you can have the opportunity to start a new chat you can collapse this and collapse back if you're interested and then when you come to the settings over here this is when you see the different models that you're going to have these are free models but if you want more options then you can go with the pro models but all of these are completely completely free and they are fantastic to use later on i'm going to show you how to use the arena mode probably with the image generation mode and so on so to start let me start with something very simple let's ask a general question to this so my question is summarize the top tech trends of 2025 in simple terms okay you can be specific make it up to 500 words Okay, so you can just hit on enter and this is going to directly think about it and then give you the answer. You can see it, 2025, these are the a year of revolutionary tech trends. This is what is happening. AI powered everything and extended reality, quantum computing, 5G and 6G networks are coming up. Internet of bodies and sustainable tech. You can see these are there are trending things that are coming up in this 2025 that you can subscribe to and you can be able to see for yourself. Now, the best part of this result or this answer that it has given us is that when you come down here, you can see the model that it has used. It has used Llama 3.1 model and then this is what it has gotten for us. So this is very interesting. I can ask it to write something. This is generic, so I can ask it to write an academic content. about the solar system use the upper format and make it up to 500 words also you can be as specific or as detailed as you want and let's see how it is going to write this is non-academic but then this is academic let's see how it is going to write the content for us so you can see starting it has given us a comprehensive title the solar system a comprehensive review and then you can see the right top you can see the references that in text references it is using the apa format and it is adding them directly you can see very very nice these are the references that we're looking for and then at the end of it all it gives us a good conclusion and then look at the references it is citing in the form of bibliography and it is directly and correctly following the upper format that we've just asked so this is an academic writing you can just copy and start using it so down here you have the option to actually copy a particular text and put it somewhere or you can regenerate using another model you can click and you have the option to 
we generate this using maybe GPT-40 or the about. And if you like this, this response, then you can give it a thumbs up. And subsequently, this is going to be the model that it is going to use to generate your own content for you. If you just give this one a thumbs up. And if you give it a thumbs down, probably it's going to change it to another model. All right. So let me try one more thing. Let's say we want to summarize the content of some essay. You can just go ahead. I can upload it and we can come over here and then can import this and let's see can you summarize can you summarize the content of this paper all right so we can just hit on enter and you can see it is going to read the paper and then give us a summary of what it has found inside the paper discusses the importance of a bus transportation in nigeria particularly in the city of kaduna where it is the primary mode of intra-urban public transportation this is really really nice and this is exactly what is in the paper so you can just go ahead and copy or you can regenerate if you want to regenerate using another model or they about okay so this is how to use this ai tool to ask different kind of questions but let's try the arena mode so that you can see what it means to start using arena mode so when you enable this arena mode it is going to give you two options to choose between two results that you've generated. For example, uh, let's say I have this question, explain the difference between velocity and acceleration with examples. And then I hit on enter using the arena mode enabled. So you're going to see what it is. So we're going to have two different options. Okay, so this is, this is it. We have option one with details of the velocity and then we have option two coming up you can see it so it's not left for you to choose which one is good because both of them are generated using different models but at this point you will not know exactly which model generates which until you select in case you can see velocity isolation understanding the difference so this one gives you everything and with examples okay more examples and then you can see this one Velocity and acceleration, both fundamental concepts of physics, acceleration, key difference, uh, not much example. So probably I'm going to go with this one. And then when you select that one, you'll now be able to see this is the one that's generated by Lama 3.1. And this one is generated by GPT-4 Mini. Okay, so depending on your choice, and you can just go ahead, copy this, and then start using on your content. So it's very easy to access all of this and start using, you know, Let's try to see if you can be able to generate an image with this as well. So the image generation, you can generate the image within any of these. You can select either DALL-E, FluxDev, Stable Diffusion, and so on. So let's say we select these two, and then let's go back. Can you give me the image of a cat in a bar drinking coffee? So let's see if this is going to be processed. And wonderfully, you can see it is giving us because we have enabled the arena mode. So of course, each and every searches that we're going to give is going to give us two options to choose from. And that is going to signify which one is better. All right, so you can see this one is, is much better than this, of course, because it is in the bar and is drinking coffee. I think I prefer this one. So once you select this, then you will now be able to see which model. FluxDev does this and then uh, DALI does this. So you have the option to go ahead and try and explore and see on your own which one and how you can use it to your own advantage. So this concludes this simple tutorial about the use of Node Diamond AI, an AI tool that gives you access to uh, all of these other AI models for free to use and then to start using and enjoying them. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.